Okay, I'm going to run you through the My Smart Mirror software setup. So you download the app from the Play Store, uh, you get a, an icon, you launch. There's the welcome splash screen. It's going to ask for an email and a password. Now it isn't necessarily an email, it's actually just a user account, something to uniquely identify you. Um, so you're not going to get up, hit up with spam. Um, it does need to take the syntax of an email address, um, but it can be anything. We're not actually going to send you an email on that address. It's just going to be so we can store your credentials in the cloud so that you can pick up and synchronize from another device. So I'm going to enter my password. Okay, so I've created my account. Uh, now what it's asking me here is um, which um, account I want to use, and this will be for the calendar. So uh, this is actually my uh, Gmail account. If I use that, then it's going to synchronize my calendar with this application. Now, I've already, already got an account, so it's pulled off all of my information here. It has pulled that down from the cloud, so it knows my home location is Twynham. I've got a choice on the clock there, 12 or 24 hour format. I can choose whether I want the weather display to be on or off, and I can choose if I want the weather to be in Celsius or Fahrenheit. Then we've got the time zones. So this is about defining um, time zones to, to match your requirements really. So when's your morning, when's your day, and when's your evening? And then you can choose to have settings that fit around that day. So for example, you might just want the train information just in the morning uh, and the news just in the evening. You can completely configure this with time zones. Um, the base ones out of the box are pretty good, but feel free to, to change those. <laughs> so then we've got Train information, we can set it for morning, day, evening, or just completely off. If you, I do use the trains, and this is uh, my common route, so in the mornings I like to display the trains between Brighton and East Croydon. Road traffic, um, I'm not a regular commuter, so I've got that turned off. But if I did want it, I've programmed in my uh, typical routes from my home to uh, another office I've got. <coughs> Tube information, I don't need it at the moment, but obviously you, you can choose that if desired. Uh, my calendar, I always like to see that, so I've got it on uh, all three time zones. Uh, and the news I've got turned off at the moment, but actually I'm going to turn that back on, so I will have that on all day. You can choose your news provider, so we've got BBC, CNN and Google in there. You can choose whichever is your, your preferred news provider, actually. I'm, I'm going to go with the BBC. And then you've got a number of uh, choices and how many headlines you want to see. You can see three or six, depending on how busy you want the screen. Uh, I think... I think I actually only want three, just to really top the headlines. Then we got um, the update frequency. So this is, you'll see when the app's running, the, the screen rolls the information over, so it'll show the news for this duration, which for me, I like it nice and quick. 10 seconds is good. Oh, maybe you can have it slower if you want. And it will roll over the information that you've chosen on here on that duration period. Then it just reminds you of um, the account that you created. So we're going to hit save. That'll save that configuration into your cloud account and then it'll start running the application and then that will roll through on that 10 seconds through the options that you've selected so I've got my news and my calendar and it's not the morning so I won't get my train times I should go back to the news Yeah, back to the news. It was the morning, obviously in the trains. That's all there is to it. Um, if you want to change the options, you just kill the application and simply relaunch it. And it's going to remember your credentials this time. And you can change your options and save them. As I say, if you do that on a second device, then actually each one of these will sync. The sync duration is 10 minutes, so it pulls in each device after 10 minutes just to see if it's got the latest version of the configuration. If it hasn't, it pulls it down. Um, if it's not changed, it'll, it'll just carry on as it was. Thanks for watching.